Good afternoon. Over the lakes, just parked up at Spout Force Car Park. And I think we're heading to Bath. That's where we're heading anyway. Whether we get there or not, it's a different matter. I'm just gonna stop you watch. There we go, not to watch started. So we've been this way before, but we're gonna head back again. Um where we end up, nobody knows. Um, so I'm here with uh, Mr. Sidney Potty is. He's doing there. Just loading his stuff up. He's not even packed yet. Um, it's the weekend before the bank holder. I don't know what the date is. I'm not trying to tell you what the date is. Huh? Mm. Any idea? It's about four o'clock. Time us four. <clears throat> uh, we're in Winlock the Forest. That's where we're at. We're going to head up that way somewhere. Lord Seat, Broomfell, Bath. We've already done Lord's, Lord Seat and Broomfell, so I think we're going to try and hit the Bath. It's a strange name, Bath. I don't know what it means. I look into the woods there. Not really in the mood for it to be honest like I'm sorta of, I'm getting a bit uh, I'm getting a bit sick of this wild camping lock. Really am. It's the point where I'm quite happy you just get back in the corner and drive home. <laughs> I'm not enjoying it at all. It's just not what it is, I don't know I don't know. <clears throat> I think I might be in need of a, a long distance trail maybe. Or a, a motorhome in the sun, something like that, something along them lines. But I am not, uh, I'm not as keen as I used to be. It's not my fitness. I mean, last weekend I did a uh, 38 mile on me and my rain, my daughter. So it's not my fitness, it's just me general. I think I'm sick of doing it. Uh, who knows? <clears throat> ah, it's getting on for the back end of me. I noticed last week, I mean, them, them lambs look, look a bit older, but I was noticing some newly born lambs last week on the, on the walk. And I'm just thinking, is it, not, is it not late for them? Like, obviously, I'm not a farmer, so <laughs> I can be talking rubbish, but I'm sure the lambs were ours before now. Yes, said Jim's coming. I don't know what city be next. Love you, know that's Sid next. You have a different name. So that's Sid James and Sydney. Sydney's port years. What do I know? <laughs> ah, the next one's probably Sid Snot. Not Sid Snot from years ago, off the air. What was he called? Can you ever? He was like the punk. I'm sure. Sid used to be a punk in our, you know. That's why he's called Sid. Sid Vicious. That's another one, Sid Vicious. <laughs> he's got another one in there. <laughs> Can't get moved for Sid's, like. Sid Jims. Well, this is new to me. I've just turned left. I wasn't expecting to turn left. I was expecting to go straight ahead. Because I'm sure the bath is over that way. We're heading this way, so maybe there's a track that I don't know about. And get up on that ridge, follow the ridge along. That's probably what it is. See that wall there? Coming down the side of the. I'm trying to point this out. There's a wall coming down the side. We'll, we'll walk from Broomfell, I think it was. We'll walk down that way on the morning. That was a steep path coming down there. Because we hard went the long way in. By a lord seat, which is that one just through there, I think, in the middle. And then we'll double back to this one, which is Broomfell. But to be honest, if I found a nice little bit of grass here, I'd be quite happy to just put my tent up now. <laughs> I'm just getting lazy in the old age. Got me camera, right? Aye. Right. Come through this lovely, cool little clear of trees. Yeah, we're going to give Bath a miss, because we're heading the wrong way for Bath. 
we'll have to double back and we're both not very fit. Uh, well, we're getting on, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I just fancy an easy one tonight. Fancy an easy one. Sid's been stressed, dude, because he's been having a new bathroom put in and he's stressed to hell. Drinking too much. Thanks. Drinking too much. Aye. And uh, not training enough. And now I'm not going off last week. And I had a bit of a drink last night now. So, <laughs> <laughs> just to put things on a level, you know. But it's lovely little bit through here. Like, I wish I'd known this bit was here the last time I came up here. Went through a right old world of hurt the last time, through the mud. But, uh, no, this has been alright. Lovely. Just seeing Sid, just seeing there. I couldn't see. I'm getting now tongue tied here. Sid just said there, it's quite a pleasant walk. And we came out, and I agreed with him. And we came out into this, man. Look at this. What's that like for a Saturday evening, eh? Yeah. Beautiful. Well, approaching Broom Fell now, I think. Or well, there are boats anyway. And any, any, I'm not sure what that one is across there. Well, I think it's could be Wind Latter. Is, is there such a hill called Wind Latter Top? Wind Latter Top, aye. Could be. Not sure what's that one. Well, anyway, got Grysdale Pike there in the background. Uh, I did think about that the day, but it's a bit hot for it, like. But it's fancy an easy one. So I found it even easier way to the top of Broomfell because the last time I had a bit of a chewing and I had a bit of a chewing coming off it now right. This way It's amazing Quite easy Very easy Not that steep that it kills you but it gets you up here quick See the trail ahead there you know? Lovely man Can I wait to get a tent up? Get me thing blowing up Be mat and uh, happy And happy days when I get my yeah. beard on uh, we've got some tins of beer and some red wine to be consumed. So it's all up to now. It's dry. There's virtually no wind. We could get plagued by midges, but I'm hoping not. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah, we'll come to the trees anyway. We're near on the top. Some horrible cleggy things about like it's sticky and it's got them. It's bringing them insects out like. But there's a little bit of a breeze. So we shouldn't be plagued by midges. I well, hope not anyway. I think it might be a bit too early for them. I'm not sure. I suppose in the right conditions they'll be there. <laughs> Don't know if you can hear the breeze on the camera, but there's a nice, lovely, gentle breeze blowing there. It's nice. Lovely. Yes, Scotland. The new style there, just being said, and it's got this thing here. So if you've got a dog or a dog, it just depends which side the border. Lifts up for the dog. Yeah, from Ashington, and we're looking across to Scotland there, Treffle. Ah, in the Northern Fells. Favourites of ours, the Northern Fells. Need to go back and finish them off, like we said. Ah, Definitely. Cool. I'll just get across this stile, and we'll, uh, <coughs> we'll head up that way, up the steps there. Put that view there. Oh, hey, fantastic. Oh, we a nice clear night tonight. We might see the Aurora Borealis. Um, but what I've been hearing is you can't really see it with the naked eye anyway. So what you see is like trickery of the, the camera lens. But I'm not seeing it, so if it's there, we'll have a look. If it's not, well, it's not. Let's get up here. Eh? Less yakking and more oh, walking. Oh, there yet? I thought it was up here. I thought we were. I thought we were there yet, but probably we're in a. Half a mile length. Like. Here's a 360, yeah. It's quiet. Hardly a breath of wind. And the sun's belting doing. It's brilliant. That's a canny view, that, like, isn't it? <laughs> I'm not sure how to look on the camera, but in my eyes, it's absolutely outstanding. Yeah, uh, many miles have I done? That'll probably be with two miles the time I get to the top, so that's good. Uh, we thought we were at the top. Back there we thought that was the top, but I thought, nah, it'll not be. It'll be a false summit, and it was. No, this bit here is the top. Definitely up there at the top. You know, I saw a dog run the woods, so I'm wondering if there's people already camping there. If that is, we're going to drop back down to here, I think. Because we're not... 
we didn't want to be cracking on to any of the wild campers to be honest I can't be bothered just me, me, me out we didn't want anybody's um, crack if you know what I mean <laughs> we just want to sit watch the sun set have our food have our drink can't the kip hot you can see down in the valley down there I see a farmhouse I didn't have my fingers pointing in the right place there's a farmhouse doing there that's where I've come from and yeah we're at the top more or less another 10 meters or so in height and about 30 meters well and about 50 meters in length distance to warm Here we are. Room fell again. And whoever was here before. There's nothing I know, I think. So they're not coming here. I'm wondering, did they shoot off this way? This is the way I went doing the last time. We camped up here. I hope you come back doing this way again. Too steep. I had to walk quite a way down before I could see anybody. That's a steep way off. That was that wall I was pointing at before when we went down that way. But it's a much easier walk in. Coming up through the forest, you come up the trees. And then you head along this way back onto it. So, so it's like 2.08 mile. I'll just stop this, he excuses. And he watches running the batteries. That's day two. I've got a new watch coming. Just bought a new watch off Team U. It's supposed to be some kind of smart watch. <laughs> I thought I was getting a free, but I think I was conning it to buy. I think I was conning it to buy it. Only 30 quid, like so. If it looks all right, little days and every day, work watch, whatever. And it's a smart watch, eh? Well, I can tell the time, it tells you the date. Very smart. This is the cane. This will probably be the beer shelter and the wine shelter for later. There we are. And I'm trying to remember where I had my tent the last time. Not too sure. Uh, was it across there? I think it might have been across there. Because I remember I was with my mate seasick. And I was thinking I'm going to keep away from his snoring. That's for certain. And whether I snow when I'm camping. I'm not bored because I didn't hear myself. Well, there's a tent up. The usual shenanigans. Exterm little mat underneath. Get... Oh, aye, aye. There's a sea behind me. From here, I can almost see the sea. Got my normal stuff. A bit of red wine, a couple of beers, a bit of salami and cheese, some wayfarer meals, some chocolate, some caramel bars. Um, sitting bag and just, just, just the usual paraphernalia, yeah, you know. As you can just you know, you already know, on top of Broomfell for the second time. And I'm going to come across here and I'm going to show you something what Sid's got. It's something Sid got constructed by the lovely um, tent equipment manufacturer Lucy Quinton from Quintcraft. Now here it is. Thank you very much, Lucy Quinton. See you very, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Sid says thank you very much. And what it is, that's your normal Hilliburg footprint for the Nyack, but it doesn't extend the porch. So um, Lucy's made a one that fits just inside, which is sewn onto that one. And uh, it's a nice bit of kit. You see, it doesn't come too far out that it's gonna let the water in. But all right, it's uh, a cotton bit of kit. Very professional. Very right. professional, he says. So, another one I run, the Nyack. It's a tent that I want for long distance um, trails. It's dead easy, it's almost freestanding. Peg the four corners out, 
peg the porch out. You put yourself a tent. Four guy lanes if you need them. If you're in a forest or somewhere and there's any wind, you don't need them. But uh, it's a two, it's supposed to be a two man, but I'd say it's more of a 1.5 man. So it's good for one, palatial for one. You could sleep two on it, no problem, but you'd be uh, a uh, bit comfortable, like a bit, uh, bit, bit, bit cozy. <laughs> As you see, now I've just got my normal sole over us, because that's what I normally use. Uh, if I had a Nyak, I would probably use a Nyak tonight, but I haven't got a Nyak, so I'm not using it. I was going to bring me TP thing with us, but I thought, you know what, no, I'm not. <laughs> I can't involve any any stupidity tonight, I just want a tent that's going to serve its purpose, and not to serve its purpose. No problem. So at night, seeing things a little bit different, I've got the um, Alpkid Coral store over us. And I'm on these things, yeah. We have there as because my wife got us some more. And then I got us some I've got beans and sausages here. And I've got a, some kind of curry with rice in that one. So I'm going to have these for me, for me tea. Um, and tomorrow I've got an all day breakfast, the same make for the all day breakfast. I don't normally have these, but I'm going to give them a try. Um, you can eat them hot or cold, so if your sto stove was broke, or ideal. And they get, she gets them quite cheap from Barry's Bargain Store. <laughs> Sid, Sid's on proper cooking like Sid's on Trangia, <clears throat> Trangia classes. Oh yeah. I was going to bring mine but I was fancying a, it's just an easy camp, just an easy, easy one for a change. 20 past 7. It's time for a drink is on a big coffee first. A beer. And I'm going to have a wingman. Uh, Bro dog wingman. The session IP is so it'll not be strong, so that's alright. It's not very cool, like, it don't be cool, eh? but mm. it is what it is, like, it's probably about 19, 20 degrees a day, probably more. 22 in the car. 22 in the car, yes, uh -huh. so anyway, I'm going to crack it open and I'm going to have a, have a, uh, a sip of beer. Uh, I'm not driving tomorrow, so I can, I can have a sip of beer tonight, which is great for a change. I couldn't drive anyway because my car's not good. It's in the, <laughs> it's, anyway. it's in the garage. I haven't <laughs> got a car. That's not an option, is it? <laughs> no, no. I had a lovely car last week. Like I had a hair one. I had a hair one. I'll tell you what it is. I, I was a bit disappointed when I got the hair placed. I said, oh, what are you, a Nissan Duke? I thought, oh, a Nissan Duke. Hey, I'll tell you what it is. This Nissan Duke, I didn't want to take it back. It was brilliant. Man. It was a fantastic little fun car to drive. And it was nippy and it was comfortable. And you didn't feel like you were driving a small car. It felt like a, a bigger car. I would definitely recommend them, like, and it, I got, I only went to Kendall and back in it, mind. So I went to Kendall, fire via the uh, E69, the M6, um, and I came back via the M6, and then I cut off at Penrith, and I went to other moors, so I went to our hot side and what have you. And when I went to put petrol in on the Monday morning, to take it back to the place, um, they only cost us 30 quid in petrol, so you, you kind of get vexed at that. Like, I don't know how many, exactly how many mile it was, but it was, I don't know, I think it might have been approaching maybe. 250 so decently like, decent on their mileage so I recommend Nissan Duke give them a go if you're, if you're wanting a car mm. I so anyway that's me building Nissan Duke um, review um, <laughs> so, so so next on Monday I'm picking up my Vauxhall Vectra that's me camping car though I couldn't leave that I couldn't leave that Duke in the middle of the anyway I think I got a panic on you need an old car to be leaving in these sort of places like but it's broken, it's gonna get fixed. So that's that's the um, that's the that's your, that's your review folks. My dear my dear torch review later on. Um it turns on and it turns off and it's got a bulb and it's got batteries. So I I'll, I'll, I'll save that later on. your time lapse folks. Uh, it's about nine o'clock. Had what cans of beer. The sun's gone down there. You can see that in the distance, the big orange ball in the sky, which we don't see very often. I have done a bit of time lapse whether that's coming very often. Very often. If that's coming very well I don't know. And as me and said it's bar time. Uh, we're just in the shelter here. We're just sitting here. It's quite a nice little shelter, lovely little place. 
Very nice. Yeah, cracking up the sun, certainly. Didn't set the world alight like, but it was alright. So I'm on the Vino Collapso now. I think it's a Merlot. Is it a Merlot? I don't know. I could have just made that up. Could be anything. But anyway, I'm out of red and it's wine and it's gonna be it's gonna be nice. It's always nice when you're sitting on it here. A dry stone while not with views like this. It's always better. Good morning. What a fine morning this is. Look at that. Bit of an inversion going on the Solway Firth. Is it Solway Firth? I think so. And there, uh, that's the view. Absolutely amazing. What a view to wake up to on a fine Sunday morning. So, aye. Uh, what a day, yes, a fantastic day. Glad I sort of pushed myself to get out and I might have rekindled my love of wild camping <laughs> after my first bit the bit the camera I did down there, down in the valley yesterday when I went over a cot here. I just wanted to go home. <laughs> but oh, it's been a good one, like. So it's time to get up. I think I'm gonna have a walk over to the cane, get the kettle on again. I've got an all day breakfast thing. Is it an all day breakfast? Something there anyway. I'm gonna make that and then we're gonna head somewhere for for breakfast. Uh, probably spoons and Penrith. <laughs> Can't imagine. I don't want to go home. I might just lie here all day. Taking in the sun. Silence, man. There isn't, isn't any wind. Luckily, there isn't any midges either. It's a little bit soon for midges. Probably in a couple of weeks, and the midges will be here. But uh, it's great just lying here in the silence. Just, just. Oh, just enjoying it. Ah. So what time is it? Oh, it's 20 to 8. It's nearly time to get up and put the kettle on. Although I might just lie here for another half an hour. Then get up and put the kettle on. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going to happen. <laughs> so it's got Tranja coffee. I've got gas coffee, and this is this is a uh, this is cane life. This is this is Sunday morning, for eight o'clockish, and this this is cane life. This is how how we roll the latest district on a, on a fine Sunday morning. Mm. Okay, I haven't got a drone, so I'll, I'll, I'll do my best drone shot. What I've got, just put the <laughs> put the thing up high, because I mean that some of this drone footage is good. We had drones. They're annoying, noisy little blighters. Oh. Yeah, and I said something. I say, but I didn't. I keep, I keep the channel clean out for. Not, 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 not too much swearing the channel. Try to avoid it if possible. Oh. Aye, we need drones. Yeah, the silence. That could be shattered by somebody with a drone. Some YouTube look with a drone. Ah, silence. Didn't see many headlights and torches in the hills last night, like I was expecting to see a few on Binzy. I was expecting to see them on Skidder. I don't know what happened last night. I was expecting to see a few from behind, but from like uh, Grisdale and what have you. But no. Not a... oh. Well, this is the life. Sitting here in the sun on a Sunday morning, enjoying a nice cup of coffee. Just. Excuse me, pondering what the what the deer is going to bring. Pardon me, we're going to go into some kind of breakfast stop. Probably spoons, like I say, at Penrith. Uh, it's a shame we're going home. To be honest, I was sitting to sit there. If I, had, had, if I was off work tomorrow, I'd be uh, I'd be out another night, definitely. Yeah, definitely another night. So we've cracked most of the northern fellas off. I've still got a few to do. Put three, three or four. I'm gonna try and get them. It's me, it's me, me next goal is to get them done. Then I've done the whole book, the northern fells. Then I'm gonna move on to the next book and try and camp on all of them. Um, I might start on this section here. But the thing is, 
I'm going to be heading up, leaving the furthest fellas away, the southerly fellas, the central fellas and all that, to last. So if I start further away and work back, I'm not too sure. <clears throat> Have I got time left to camp on every fell top? I don't know. Getting all new, like, you know. Bit itchy. There's a few. Pretty crawly starting to come about, like, so not be long before them midges out. I shouldn't twist on, you know. Silence is brilliant, man. Just brilliant. Yeah, you know, Sid clomping a boot in the back run there. You now what he's up there. He's having his coffee lately. <coughs> yes, very. It's going to get warmer. So this is the summer pit of Roomfell and the little summer shelter, which has obviously been built by the dry store mall behind me. But uh, it's a fine place, eh? Oh, we're looking that way towards Skiddo, Callside. I'm not sure if that was that Ulick Pike. Ulick Pike, that rings a bell. We've got a little Binsey there behind you. Uh, the Northern fellas. Oh, that way, back of Skidder, as it's known. Then we've got this way, we've got Grisdale, Cozy Pike, Pike. Whiteley, is it Whiteley's Pike? Uh, Whiteley's Lady Side Pike, Lady Side Pike. Lady Side Pike. Well, all kinds of pikes going on, like. I was glad to see Fury got knocked on his arse, but he didn't get knocked on his backside, but he, he lost. And I'm glad now, because he's a gobshite. I don't like gobshites. So, anyway, that's, that's, that's another reason to be happy today. Uh, well done. Well done to the little Ukrainian. Aye. <coughs> Aye. Aye. <laughs> See what his gobshite father comes up with, it, yeah? Is that hot? I'm glad of this bit shit. Much sure it's hotter than last week. But uh, I mean, nice weekend again, like. Someone's here to stay, I hope. <sighs> I've been sneezing a bit on the way, doing a bit of hair fever, I remember. Sniffly nose. <laughs> I just swallowed <laughs> Swallowed a fly. <laughs> ah, excuse me. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, hey man. You had swallowing flies. Oh. oh god. No one's running now. I've went from <coughs> Fit and healthy to a wreck in a few steps. <laughs> oh. I'll turn this off here. Eh? Die in peace. Uh. <coughs> hey, we're coming. We're out the, fo the forest now, like. We're coming down there. There's a bloke coming out here with a dog. He's a local farmer. And you can see what he's doing on this path. Nobody knows about this path. We <laughs> <coughs> <Really? coughs> do. The dogs are barking now. We're still choking on me fly. <laughs> oh. And uh, he says, I like your shoes. I says, I the bunny on the. <laughs> <coughs> 30 quid. Can I get vexed? <coughs> oh, that's lovely, that like. Back in a big pile of stones. I'll keep wondering what they're going to make with these. Like. Look as if they've been lying there for a while, though. <coughs> that's the stops. <coughs> Aye. There's a post behind them, you've seen it. Aye, that must be like, to make like a wetland or something, or a, or a marsh or a swamp. Do not claim on timber stacks. I think that's what that's for, like. Because we've got more up there as well. Yeah, them birds singing in the trees, man. Just looking back there. And there's where we've been. Where we were. With that little blip is on the head. I haven't picked it up in the camera. That was the summer cane. That's that wall, the steep wall. We could have came down that way, but very steep and I think the bloke we're bumping into was probably from this farm I think taking his nurses drove up in his car like and he's just taking his dogs for a walk they didn't look like farm dogs did they they were more they were spaniels so they were more shooting dogs shooting type dogs we weren't for our collies like <coughs> so maybe he didn't live there maybe I've just made that up now <laughs> but this is the end of the walk and we're going to try and find the spoons um, I think it's going to be chock-a-block and keswick 
because the mountain festival is on, but we'll yeah. see. We Just we never know. We'll get in the spoons. If not, we we'll to find somewhere else. Or go to Penrith or just skip breakfast. To be honest, the size of it we'll probably do with skipping breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> so, in case we didn't get the spoons, I'll end the video here. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Oh,